Hello everybody and welcome back to another Hot Cup of TV video and today we are going to be talking again, once again, about Jurassic World Evolution because um, as you can see by the title there is a brand new update that has been revealed for the game. So like usual on this channel guys I am going to be bringing you guys all the news and going over everything. Now it's about a day old now. Uh, but I'm going to bring it, uh, be bringing you all of the sort of the information that I have seen from all of the different sources and videos. As you can see here, uh, we have a first image of changed dinosaur sizes, which is amazing. This is something we have been waiting for for such a long time in the game. Um, so as you can see there, the Giganotosaurus, the main one, is going to be getting a size increase. We have needed that for a very long time. And, of course, the Spinosaurus is getting a size increase. We've been wanting that for ages. Uh, the Tyrannosaurus Rex um, is getting a little bit of a size decrease, but the Spinosaurus is basically going to be going to be thinner, guys. So the T-Rex is going to be bigger and fatter and chunkier and girthier, if you will. <laughs> and um, so, yeah. And the Ceratosaurus is also getting uh, slightly smaller. I think that does reflect everything... Um, you know di the dinosaur sizes correctly um so leave your thoughts about all of these points guys in the comment section below now i have a few different uh, news sources to read from so i'm going to read you some information uh, that i found from an article um about the game and then we are going to be looking at these new screenshots so as you can see here we have a new we have new screenshots available and just to let you guys know, um, it, the release date for this new update for the game has been confirmed to be September the 13th. So in about 13 days, 14 days or so, we will be getting this uh, this update. It's going to be freaking sweet. Uh, and now I'm going to read out what it says here. And then I'm also going to read um, a little bit of information from the article. So challenge mode. Welcome to the new Jurassic World Evolution challenge mode. In this mode, uh, recommended for the most experienced park managers, your task is to develop an Isla Nubar across a range of new dif difficulties. Increase your island rating to progress and unlock new content. Each star introduces new opportunities and struggles to contend while you're, uh, you construct your own Jurassic World. Select new challenge to begin, then the aim is to reach five stars in the quickest time possible. Each difficulty level has its own part time for you to beat. Uh, for the ultimate challenge, try Jurassic difficulty. So it comes in many difficulty levels. And this is actually what uh, the, all the players of the game have been asking for a very long time uh, to add some more like challenge and spice into the game because there's many things missing from the game. Now I have this information from this article and uh, it says in challenge mode players will have very little money to begin with and will uh, have to build the park up. It won't be easy as the budget can be affected by ca uh, contract cancellation penalties and Hammond foundation fees. There are also personal bests when it comes to the time taken to reach milestones. Uh, there are also new skins available through challenge mode as well as new trophies slash achievements, um, which is pretty cool. And then we've got additional sandbox options will be also added, including removing the need for power plants, removing dinosaur age limits so they don't die of old age, uh, play with the amount of money you have to spend, uh, a feeder resupply toggle so you don't need to keep hiring rangers, a difficulty setting toggles uh, so that you can change things like uh, guest count and the variety of dinosaurs. So a lot of new settings coming to uh, coming to that mode. And of course um, that will be affecting all sandbox guys. So there's a lot of uh, more control we're going to have over our parks which is really awesome. And then the dinosaur size changes if you're interested. Um, specifically the Ceratosaurus is changing from 9. Point six meters down to currently to nine uh scaled down uh, the tyrannosaurus rex is also going from uh 14 to 13.5 the spinosaurus from 13.7 to 15 uh making her taller but bulky uh, less bulky than t-rex like i said guys uh scale uh also the scale of the giganotosaurus is going from 12 uh to 13.5 so a big increase there uh there'll be different lighting options in career mode once uh, five stars has been reached on an island allowing you to alternate between dawn dusk and night new contract types will also be added uh, which will address uh, uh, guest coverage and dinosaur visibility new camera options um, will be added so you can view things uh, from the guest perspective and first person on the monorail uh, and in other places guys i've got a, a screenshot of that later on in the video uh, of one from a new first person view from the hotel, uh, one of the hotels in the game, which is pretty sweet. 
because uh, you can now look out of hotels uh, and you'll be able to cancel research and incubation projects. Also, I think there's a thing about research, uh, researching taking more time, but I'll go over that in a second. Now, uh, so as you can see with the screenshot in front of us, that explains some of it. Best in Slot has an amazing explanation video where he has gone over all of these brand new points, guys, uh, in detail. And look at this awesome screenshot. We're going to go over this in a minute. But just to let you know, I'll link that video down below. The purpose of this video is that I just bring you guys all of the all of the main news, um, like always, just to uh, to kind of give you guys the you know the most important parts and um, really go over all the most exciting parts to me. Um, Two other exciting parts um, is the fact that they're going to be adding new skins. And look at these two skins here on the side, the right-hand side of this uh, of this screen screenshot here. We can see there's a Dionicus jungle pattern and an Indominus Rex coastal pattern. So that's a really awesome new thing. I think they they're unlocked. Um, yeah, unlocked at five stars in any difficulty and unlocked at five stars in Jurassic difficulty. So they're unlocked under different circumstances. But it's just so cool to see that they are actually indeed going to be adding more skins to the game. This is probably just the beginning uh, because they are likely to add more after this. So um, as you can see by the screenshot on the left hand side, we have the different uh, difficulty levels here for this challenge mode. We have easy, medium, hard and Jurassic. Oh no, wait, hold on a minute. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think that's what it is. is. Challenge mode its own thing? No. Um, and then, so Jurassic is obviously going to be extremely hard. Oh, and it shows there. Yeah, it shows that you have um, the hard difficulty. That's an example of what uh, of the conditions you have on hard difficulty. So it says starting cash, three point seven. Dinosaur difficulty threatening. Uh, calamity frequency common. So like I think calamities is how often disasters and things like that happen. So obviously on the harder difficulties, those things will happen more. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Um, and then some other stuff there. Fastest completion time. So you can do things. You are set challenges to try and complete your like record of like. Um, completing those challenges as, uh, from previously so like you got to try and uh, beat your time so that's pretty awesome and then look this is the screenshot of the first person view from the hotel isn't that awesome like, we ha haven't actually had a screenshot from high up yet well from looking off a building anyway that's this high so this is a really awesome um camera view i think and it's going to enable us to be able to see dinosaurs now i remember best in slot saying that we can now build exhibits around hotels um literally right close up to to the buildings apparently um go and watch that video for more information uh if you haven't seen it already after this but as far as it goes for this channel uh that will be everything uh in terms of bringing you guys all of the most important news um this channel has always been uh covering all of the news on this game and uh, i want to keep that up and i really want to uh, keep this uh yeah, keep covering all of the news from this amazing game. And I am determined to get to sandbox mode in our Let's Play. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, and it's good to be back, guys. Yeah. So um, just to let you know, uh, there's an awesome update coming. And I will be covering all the news. As always, if you want to be uh, stay updated for that, uh, subscribe to the channel, Hot Cup of TV. Because I'll be sure to let you guys know as soon as if any more information has been revealed. Um... But yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments section below. And uh, if any of you have watched the live stream and I've missed anything out. Um, well, I've definitely missed out some of the smaller details. Uh, but basically, I've covered all of the main things. Uh, but just comment in, uh, in the comment section if you guys have any ideas. And let me know your thoughts. Are you guys excited for this? Um, I really want to know what you guys are thinking. And I'm excited to hear that. Um, I'll link Best in Slots video in the description. Uh, he covers everything I, I said. Uh, he also covers uh, way more details, so that's like the best video, um, one of the best videos to watch if you want to know absolutely everything. Um, but yeah, it's going to be freaking sweet. Sandbox mode should be much easier now. It should be better. Um, this is making the whole base game better to play for everyone, really, because there's been a lot of complaints, uh, sin complaints since the game has come out. Um, but anyway guys, thank you so much once again for tuning in, and thank you for all of your guys' support on this channel. Uh, we will see you guys soon in the next video.